Hi Satvik. Hi Samu. Can you hear me, Satvik? Yes. Okay, great. So uh, I think we yeah we did exchange today uh, yesterday. Sixteen method. Have you prepared uh, all, all the methods in the program? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Is it working? Any any issue? Yeah, it's working. Okay. Good. So today we will talk about the. You must have heard of, or if not, that's not going to be a problem. We'll talk about. If condition. For example, uh, this is uh, if and if else. Okay. So basically, it is if, if something happens, if there is a condition, then execute this statement. Otherwise, I say the greatest of two numbers. Greatest of two numbers, right? So if you just say your, your voice is great. Your voice is breaking. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Hello. Is it better? Okay. So, so you can say if x is greater than y, then x is the greatest number. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Something can be done. So x is the greatest number. Otherwise, y greater. Right? This is where you have this two things. Like if the first one is true, the first one will will be executed. Otherwise, the second statement will be executed. So this is simple if else condition. Okay. It will be better. So uh, in a program, how do you put it? We will say if x is greater than y. Okay. So the statement. Like system dot out dot print line. X is the greatest number. So to concatenate your value, your variable with the statement, you use the plus. Okay. 
plus x else this y is greater this y is greater by any piece put it in a program satrik so you have you'll have to declare two numbers then you can put it and once you're done with this one you can hear me right okay yeah i can hear okay. you okay great this this can form you because there is some kind of connection problem so once you are done with the greatest of two numbers then we will move on to find out the greatest of three numbers okay Wait, so I'm supposed to find the greatest of two now. Hello? Right, yes, yes. You need to find out the greatest of two numbers. So you will take two inputs, x and y. You will ask ask the the value for x and y. You will enter two numbers. and then you will compare those two numbers using the x and condition and then you will find out the greatest number
कल्याण Almost. Okay. I need help. What was the code to find the greatest number? You need help with what? Uh, the code for like, how do you find the great like the code for the greatest number? The greatest of um, I mean, you have three inputs. You are asking. No, two, two. When you have uh, two inputs, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this is what you need to do. You need to use the if else condition. So you will say if x is greater than y, so x is the greatest number, otherwise it is y. Is it fine? Are you okay now? So once you are done, please face the code. Are you facing some problem? I can help you with that. Do you want me to write it for you? The greatest of two numbers. Sathik? Ah, it's taking time. Hi, Ravi. Pradeep, uh, how are you? Ravi. I'm doing great. I'm doing great, Pradeep. How are you? Want to share uh, his desktop so that you can see? Um, you can simply paste the code, or I can make him the presenter. Let me see. Let me see if it is possible because there is somebody else who is the admin, and they allow us to share the screen. Let me see. Yeah, I can allow him. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Please allow. So, is this? Are you able to see now? Yep. Okay. Now this is my code so far. Mm -hmm. So it says uh, x and y, and x and y, but okay, you have two integers. So what is your first number? Okay, all right. Uh, what is the second number? Y. Okay, all right. Okay, so you have put a semicolon after the condition statement. If x is greater than y, then it's the curly braces. It's not the semicolon after the condition. So if x is greater than y, curly braces. Start the open the curly braces. Curly braces. This is fine. This is fine, Sadhguru. It was fine. This is a small bracket. It is fine. 
small bracket is fine. Okay, after the condition statement, open a curly braces. Curly one. Yeah, this one. Then close it before else. Close it before else. Again, after else, start another curly braces. And within the closure, within the closure of the else part, you have to print your second statement. All right. But what I'm seeing is right now, x is better than y. You have not. Uh, okay fine but in both the cases you also need to print the value right x is greater than y and the value is plus x so after the inverted comma just say plus x plus y okay now you can run it x is greater than y and the value is 10 so you can make the statement better but that is fine you just need to understand how it works okay so we are done with this one now what if we want to find out the greatest of three, three numbers so in this case we had just okay you are doing it go ahead Thank you. Okay, ready. So, so that's the that's the problem. It's not allowing me to get back the access to the screen. I'd have to talk to the admin now. Okay, so. Okay, great. Thank you, Pramod. Okay, so when you have three numbers and you want to find out the greatest of three numbers, then what you need to do is you need to do you need to use the if else ladder statement. So there is an if else ladder. Okay? And let me show you how that looks how that works then we will see if condition right then you else if condition right then else Okay. Then finally you have this. Finally you have this L. Okay. So when you have three numbers, what you, what you are going to do is three numbers. So x is greater than y, and and so in order to like in order to say uh, and you'll have to use this is called this is also called m percent m percent so in order to use the and the logical and there is uh, in the logical when you talk about the computer engineering there are gates and one of the gate is called and that is a logical gate so it means if both are true, when you say and, x is greater than y and x is greater than z, you have three values. Huh? 
so x is greater than z so x is greater than y and x is greater than z when this both the conditions will be true it will say x is greater x is the greatest right or else if else if y is greater than y y is greater than x and y is greater than z so in this case y is greater right otherwise do you need else if no conditions no you don't need if x is not greatest if y is not greatest then that's obvious that z will be the greatest value so here you will say else that is greatest right at least I got it. I mean, you got it. Great. Can you please show it to me? I mean, can you please implement it in your program? So the data sub three number. Okay. Let me know if you face any problem because uh, we have discuss more topics today. So if you face any challenge, just let me know.
Copy. Are you done? Done with this? Copy. Can you hear me? Are you done? Almost done. Okay. I'm done. Okay. Is it working? Is it working? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Good. So, so this would be a fence ladder. Okay. So apart from this, there is one uh, uh, we can use switch case. We can use and then cases it's case statements so for an example let's say for an example you ask the user to find if the uh, entered character is a vowel okay if you can write a program to find if the entered character is a vowel, right, or vowel. So, there are five vowels in English, in English grammar, right. Now, so first of all, you will have to declare a character, character variable. So, char ch. Now, this ch will go here in the switch. Okay this C it will go here in this switch and it will say case the entered value is A if the entered value is A it will say A is for or it is a bug plus C it right space key right space i is o is u then what if the entered value is not a vowel sound, not a vowel, right? Not a vowel. So in that case, you will have a default statement. Default. Entered value is not a vowel and it is plus ch. Alright. So what happens is cases will check all the values. First of all the, the character will go to the switch. Okay. So if the now the case now the switch will check all the cases. The switch will check all the possible cases and if it matches one of the case, it will print the statement under that particular case. Okay? Understandable? Oh. Okay. 
do you want to try it or you want to try it later now okay wait try it okay so do let me know as soon as possible as soon as you see the problem that you are facing any challenge just let me know okay then we will discuss more So next to the cases, make sure that you you are not giving the inverted the single inverted comma. It doesn't require any comma. Also, after the switch, you need to give a curly braces, which leads to the close at the end. And these columns should be after the character that you are entering so case a and then the statement okay case e colon then the statement case i colon then the statement
Okay, Sadhvik, I'm trying to you know write it, uh, type the code for you here, and go along with me. Need your help on this. You got it? Uh, no, I didn't get it. I need your help. Well, do you want me to write it for you? What? Do you want me to type it? Type the code for you. If you are not sure. done, do you want me to do it? Can you type the code? Yes. Okay. So character C H switch. Okay, I missed the C. It is switch. C H. Okay. It will check if that is that is the uh, thing that you are looking for A. If it is A, if it matches A, it will say it is a vowel. So system dot out dot print. Right. Again, it will come to E, and then again, it will say E is a vowel, right? Again, it will come to I, and it will say I is a vowel. Then it will go to O to check if the entered character is O. It will say it's a vowel, right? If the entered character is U, it will say it's a vowel. Otherwise, it will say it's not a vowel, and it is this. Very simple, and after every statement, we need to use the break statement. Once, once the value is found, once the value is found, you need to use a break so that it will come out of the switch. It will come out of the switch. If you do not use the break, it will still go on and keep on checking. So the moment you find that okay yeah this is the character the user has entered we need to use a break so that it will come out of the switch statement all right um any try it now yes for this i said we need to equal the si next char and it won't like the voice is breaking okay let me okay okay uh sathvik do you want to share your screen so that I may see? Sure. Okay, please show me screen. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you just say next tab? Next tab. C capital. Okay. C capital. Next tab. Okay. Is that? Okay. Go to the switch statement now. Uh, type your switch statement. Which is wrong. Okay, just type it. Then we'll see. I just want to see what you are doing exactly. So it is. It is a vowel. It is a vowel. Should be in the system dot out dot print line. 
schedule should be in the system dot out dot print line. Finally, you also need to use the default. What? What? You will use, need to use the after you press it. You will need to use default. The default for the default statement. If it doesn't match with any of the characters you have entered, it will go to the default statement. So for that, you also need to use the default. Default. Okay. Okay. I don't know, I just stopped. Mm -hmm. okay, Is it? So default, default then column, default then column. Now do one thing. After this, go to the line where you have uh, next tab. So next tab and the curly the braces, the uh, small brackets are fine. After the small brackets where you have closed it, put a dot dot care at care at the method that we used yesterday. If you remember, care at a will be capital. And then the uh, small brackets after care at there will be small bracket and zero within the brackets there will be zero. So next care and then care at zero. Okay, there is something wrong. Let me see. What is wrong there? It is a browser, it is a browser, okay. Switch. And then you have... Okay. Okay. Uh, so at the end of the program, just um, use the curly braces to close it and compute your statement. AEI. So for I, complete it. Either put a semicolon at the end of it. Okay. Um, 
what is it saying? It's saying at the end. So you need to put one more curly braces at the end. At the end. Okay. So cat C H. Okay. Go to one of the uh, where it says error. The red mark. Go and check. What is it saying? Yeah. Delete these tokens. Okay. Switch. Why to delete it? Okay. What? Let me see. Let me just. Uh, can you please give me the control? The keyboard control. Okay, let me. I'm going back to my Eclipse. Just give me a moment. Okay, I'm trying to do it for you. Okay, I'm looking into it. So please don't mind my silence, Sadhvik. I am almost done. So okay. So put all your letters in the single inverted commas put all your letters the case letters like case a so a should be in the single inverted comma can you say that again okay i'll show it to you just give me a moment i'll show it to you straight away
okay first week so look at my screen okay it is see so i have i have used the scanner then reader is the object so you can keep anything like you had si that is fine si is fine then to take the input of a character you will say next dot char at 0 char at 0 means so char at is the method which will show you the first character whatever the character you enter it will show you the first character in the line right so it's taking it, it is helping you to take input of a single character then switch switch should be starting with the small h switch ch then a a should be in the single inverted comma then it is a vowel after every statement you break use break after every statement so if i now say a it will say a is a vowel is a vowel a but if i say b it will say it is not a vowel why begin with it's going to straight away to the default statement the default statement it is not a vowel but if i say e if i say e it will say it is a vowel and it is not a vowel why because i have not not used break after the e so i'll have to use break in every statement so that when it matches the exact case the break will help it to break the switch and it will come out of it all right subject subject you got it got it okay great now so today we discuss about if else and then if else ladder if else ladder then we learned about switch case now what you need to do is you have to find out the greatest of four numbers and out the greater of four numbers so in that we will need to use if else ladder okay then use if else to find if it's odd or even number if it's odd or even number So that that will be as per if else the first one. Okay. Then so you will uh, for the switch case you will take input of a number. find out if it's relevant to the program relevant to the program okay. so relevant to the program how does that happen so if you say you are taking input of 20 right i have Two or three cases. So in my in my cases, I have forty. I have forty. 
50. Then the default statement, which says it doesn't belong to my cases, right? So 20 is not in my cases. So it will execute the default statement. All right, perfect, understandable. Yeah. Okay. So this is the homework for tomorrow. Okay, something. Any questions? Any question? No. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye.